A voltaic cell consists of a manganese to manganese 2 plus electrode and an iron to iron 2 plus electrode. If we have a concentration of manganese of 1.519 molar and an iron concentration of 0 0.206 molar, what is the E cell of that voltaic cell at 25 degrees Celsius? Alright, so we are going to be solving that full Nernst equation. So the E of our cell equals E ot of our cell minus RT over NF natural log of Q. All right, to get the Q and the E out of the cell, I kind of need to know which of these two equations up here is my anode and which is my cathode. And I'm going to make the top one my anode. That's because it's the smaller the two value. My E ought for that particular cell then would be uh, the negative 447 plus, uh, flip the sign of that, plus 1.185 volts. And that is gives me an E out of 0.738. Or my pen. All right, that also defines the anode um, and the cathode to help us develop our overall equation. So we're going to be kind of reversing that. So our overall equation is going to have the manganese solid and iron 2 plus aqueous going towards manganese 2 plus and iron solid. All right, that will help us get our Q. So our E of our cell is going to be the E out of the cell, the 0.738 volts minus R, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, 298 Kelvins. Uh, two moles and two moles means there are two moles of electrons being exchanged in the overall equation and Faraday is 96,485 coulombs per mole of electrons. Our Q is going to be the manganese on top and 0 0.206. Now before I actually do the calculation, I want to notice that the manganese is uh, greater than 1, the iron is less than 1. Because of that, we knew this reaction is kind of going to go f backwards more than forwards, at least with regard to the EOT. Uh, so we are expecting our E of the cell to be less than the 0.738. And that kind of helps on my multiple choice Test. I can eliminate two answers right away from that. Matter of fact, looking at the ones I made available on that multiple choice test, only one of them is likely because one of them, the other one's a huge difference. All right, but we're going to fully calculate it. So I'm going to start with my natural log portion first. I'm going to do the 1.159 divided by the 0 0.206. Take the natural log of that. Now I'll multiply that by the 8.314 and the 298 and divide it by the 2 and the 96,485. And I didn't put that negative in, so I'm going to do 0.7 three eight minus that answer to give our correct answer for the E of the cell of 0.712.